in the nature of cardboard aided design, CAD work, because you wouldn't use a computer for CAD, would you? So, um, <laughs> we have box. I've made a trunk floor, uh, four pieces, and I'm going to finish this out the pan to look as good as the interior. We'll have some side panels here, you'll see as that goes. This lifts up with enough room to get the spare tire. And I had to make it in four pieces because you can't fit one big piece into the trunk. Welcome back guys and girls to another episode of Dad's Toy Garage. We're working on part two of the trunk build. And I think today we will be more focusing on building all the structure, the walls, I guess we'll call them walls, uh, that we'll be able to mount trim panels to. So let's get right into it, let's have some fun. And I'm really looking forward to seeing this trunk project come out. This is week two on the build, let's go. So I've started the sides of this trunk enclosure. I don't know if enclosure is the right word, I guess that'd be for a sub box. Just this custom trunk. And we've got a back panel here. I'm gonna make a copy of this onto another piece of cardboard because I want to use that to make the cover logo on here. I'm going to cut out some cutouts so I can still lift this up uh, with this being in there. And I want to be able to use the second cutout to do the cover that sticks to it. We'll have a bit of framework. There'll be an opening here to access the battery. And I don't know if we'll do one there or not. We'll think about that. But having the back frame will allow me to screw to the sides, the side panels. That's the battery hole, it's just reversed because the battery is actually on that side of the trunk. It's kind of an odd shape here because uh, the terminal has to just fit here but I wanted to have a little bit of strength and these can't be any higher. I might have to take a little bit out but I wanted them to be strong. So this opening here is gonna allow for the trunk to open. Uh, not the trunk, the spare tire to open. And then we got hinge cutouts on each side. I'm not sure. I might add a compartment here. It's a little one. Put some tools in there or whatever. Uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll keep the strength there. I think in the end we'll probably cut a little bit out just to save weight. Same with this corner here. Here's the rear trunk panel. Got it cut out. I'm going to keep this in here for the time being until I figure out if I want to put some shelving in the back of the thing. Um, yeah, let's go test fit it. There's the trunk backing. I'm very happy with it. And when we open up the spare tire, you can still get at the spare tire with lots of room to spare. Now I was even able to keep a bit of strength in here because of this diagonal cut here. I was still able to keep a little bit of extra strength there as you watch it open. Lots of room there. So that's good. So I'm working on more CAD design, cardboard aided design and I got an issue here. I could trim the slide out. It's the piece by piece till we had a nice cut, but you know, I can't get this curve. I don't know what to do. Wait a minute. Pull this guy out of here. I made one more. He's kind of a, a almost there situation. What I'm going to do is just build it up with tape and then we'll transfer it to the good one. So I'll show you how that looks in a minute. So in the nature of cardboard aided design CAD work, because you wouldn't use a computer for CAD, would you? So, um, <laughs> we have Bob here. He's doing my video and we're having an early morning hangout, having some Dr. Peppers. Um, yeah, all I did was cut this out of a nice cereal box. That made it so much easier. Because now when we stick this in there, a little pull handle, it's literally the right shape. So we're good to go almost to cut out a piece of wood. So I'm going to figure out what needs cutting on the inside and then we'll make a piece out of wood. So, so what are you doing with my radio there? We had good tunes going. Um, demonetization. Oh, we don't want that. No. No, it helps build cars when you have a little bit of income coming. We, we need money. <laughs> and we need money to build. <laughs> so Bob's here. I like you saw him behind the camera. Got to put him to work a little bit because why not have your friends do all the work for you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what you were doing. <laughs> so basically... Um, what Bob is doing is helping clearance for taillight removal. So when we go in the car here, this panel has to come out and have room. It kind of sucks. It makes my compartment a little smaller, but it'll work already. 
So we'll come up with something that works. This is just initial clearance. So he's got her figured out there. Clearance, Clarence. So yeah, it looks funny when you look at it, guys, but when Bob goes to pull the taillights out, we'll probably need to drop it a little bit lower yet, but yeah. we'll, then uh, that'll allow easy serviceability because you want everything to be easy to service in your car. Otherwise, it's no fun. out at a time take a little look and see all right so we've got this now cut out and trimmed uh, so we can take this out I've got it where it's nice curve here so that way it's just easier to uh, to bend and take out we can even move it down like this if we want to uh, we just curve this so that there's no sharp corners um, it's just a little bit easier when you're uh, putting in and out of the lights, um, I find sharp corners uh, hinder half the time on uh, moving stuff. But when you have it uh, curved, it's usually fluid and that just makes this a lot easier too. Do you wanna just show them this? Uh, this is the typical cleaner that, that would go along for detailing on a car show. So we have perfect height to fit that in there with, along with some microfiber cloths. Just for a quick clean up at car show. So yeah, at a car show, I'm typically using this. I'm not a big car show person, so why am I building a show car? I don't know, it's fun. <laughs> but I like I like racing, I like doing car cruises and you're always getting dirty doing that. We have a, a local car club that does poker run like once or twice a year and that's fun going out with your buddies doing that or the kids. But yeah, this is the right height. Um, I like mother's products seen me use it a lot of their metal polish to fit in that cubby so yeah I'm gonna make it work for that um, your car even at World of Wheels for example I've had my Mach 1 Mustang was at World of Wheels and it got dusty just sitting there throughout the day so you got to clean it between days it's like a two or three was it two or three days uh, I think so yeah so yeah that's got to have a little bit of detailing space but not visible when you don't look for it So Bob and I did a little planning here together on how far this panel is going to sit. And here is, if you look, okay, I've done a lot of looking at other professional upholsters. I'm not a professional upholsterer, but I'm learning and I'm, I'm finding it's very therapeutic. Um, a lot of other guys, they take these panels and they write flush them out here. I would still have to leave an eighth of an inch. Um, now there's a couple reasons why I'm choosing not to do that. Uh, I like it here because we put the square on. We put it down square. It'll sit nice. This edge is further back. The big one for me is when I want to, you want to get the camera in here, want to take this screw out. It's all accessible now. And you can still pull these guys out of there nicely. But I think me and Bob both like the look of it sitting a little further back. Yeah. So. I think I've got my storage compartment where I need it to be. Right here is going to be a removable panel. And uh, I can get my hand in here and pull the corner light out. This fits on here, right about there. And you can get your polish in here. And stack the regs in there. And we'll put a bit of a waterproof uh, material inside there. Maybe paint it, something like that. But... I think it'll work. Let's test fit it. Here's the compartment sitting in place. What my plan is just to screw it to the floor. This piece will come in here after. I have not test fit this yet. We'll do this together. There we go. So that'll sit in there. So let's grab our polish. Got our polish here. That'll fit in that corner there. And I'll still have room for rags. And right here, I can still reach in here, pull this plug out. I'll see it better if I do it this way. So I can still reach in here and pull this guy out. And we still have a storage 
And the main reason for that is if other things go in there that aren't cleaning rags, I now have protection um, against hitting the quarter panel. So I can screw this on a couple places here. Along this edge, it can be screwed through here. And maybe on the front here, we'll get a couple in there and that'll hold it tight and secure. So we'll screw it also down to the floor there. Corner's in, it's done, it's tight. You can actually shake the whole car off that corner. I may end up putting a little strapping just across here on this support and that'll allow this thing not to hop up and down as much. It's kind of my hope. But uh, yeah, that's done the framework part. We'll still have to build a little cover for the light access panel out of some galvanized, but, uh, and obviously a door will go over top of this when it's all done. But framework is close, that side's good. So we're gonna do this side, and this panel is kind of what's left for framework for the majority of it. <laughs> 